Hi, I'm James Ramsey, Group Product Manager here at GitLab. And this is a follow-up to my video about reducing repository file size. In this video, I'm going to take a look at LFS and how to uh, clean out large uh, LFS files that you don't want anymore that aren't referenced by the repository and look at some of the, uh, the challenges associated with that. So I've got um, an LFS file um, added to this repo and uh, I'll just push that up to the server. And hopefully we'll see that turn up on the file utilization um, of the repository. There does there is a caching layer, so uh, file size updates aren't immediate. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, all right, we can see it being uploaded. I think it is about 40 megabytes. So uh, just keep that in mind. All right. So once we've uploaded this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the standard repository size reduction steps. Um, and we'll, we'll just follow this first step. That should probably be enough because um, I'm not gonna put in a merge request or any other anything else. So there shouldn't be any keep around refs or merge refs that reference this file. Um, so that means I won't have to do step two. If you've watched the previous video, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I'm just trying to save myself a little bit of time. Okay, here we are. We finished pushing that up to the repository. Let's take a look, refresh this. Great, we can see there's now 40 megabytes used. That's coming from this large video file. 40.6 megabytes, we'll see. So that all makes sense. We can even see that it's in LFS. So let's work on removing it. Following the instructions, we're gonna clone this repository. So I'll grab the clone URL. I'll come out here, hit clone bear, um, and we'll put this into repo cleanup LFS. All right. So now we'll use git filter repo to reduce the size of it. I'm going to remove all files larger than a megabyte. And then what we need to do is then push those changes back to the server. Um, we'll check that we've got a remote to push to. Yes, we've got origin. So what we'll do is um, force push all branches to the origin remote. Uh, Could have just Copy and paste to that. Um, should also uh, yeah. hmm. let me see if I need to do anything tricky for LFS because this probably <laughs> hmm, because this is a bare repository. This won't work for LFS. Hmm. Well, that's good to note for the documentation. Um, hmm. So maybe cloning with a bear is not the best idea. Let's see what happens if we don't clone bear and then we can uh, see how this goes. All right. So it clone. Of course, I'd copied something else.
Do, 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 do. Hopefully this is downloading those LFS files for us. Let's have a look what we ended up with. Oh no, wrong directory. Classic James mistake. Ah yes, so the LFS file has been downloaded. We can see our beautiful random noise. Um, so now let's run filter repo, see what happens. Okay, get remote. All right, so we can see remotes have been removed. That seems to be the difference between cloning with a bare repository and not cloning. So probably need to update the documentation. So we'll get remote add origin. And then we'll get push force all to origin, same as the documentation. Everything up to date. Interesting. Alter repo. So I guess this isn't straightforward, but to be honest, if you were using LFS for large files, um, you're probably intending to keep those. So uh, it's probably why there's no easy way to do this. So what we'll do, go back to, um, we can keep working on this one, which we haven't changed. Um, what I can do is rm, and then I'm going to amend that to the previous commit. And then I'm going to do a force push. So this is a trivial example because it was easy for me to clean it out. Um, with the arg order, um, seems to have. So this was a trivial example of removing it. Um, but the interesting thing here is that uh, it probably hasn't been removed by default uh, because there's a special rake task for cleaning out that unreferenced LFS file. So there should be nothing that references LFS um, anymore um, in the repository at all. Um, so the next question would be, how do we, how do we clean that up? If we look in, so this is on the server. Um, if we look at the repository size, we can see that the actual repo size is still very small because there's no, um, binary files because they were in LFS. So we want to work out how we get rid of those LFS files. Um, and it says here that we can run this task. Move unreferenced LFS files from the system. I don't know what the difference between these two are. I think this might be for Clean up orphan LFS file references, clean up orphan LFS files. I don't know what the differences are. Only removes references. Okay. 
So this actually removes the reference from the database, even though it says file system. And then this removes it from the file system. Sounds like some doc updates are needed. Here we go, let's run project path, okay. Project path is root repo cleaner, but to avoid some copy pasta, do that. Okay. So I think this goes through, checks if the every LFS object is actually connected to the repository. So it's found one. Okay. Well, it turns out I need to actually run it again with dry run equals false. And then we'll actually want to prune those from the file system. It'll be interesting to see if, all right, so one's been removed. It'll be interesting to see if that impacts the actual repository size, even though it hasn't been cleaned. So what does this one say? This is a manual task. It doesn't get run automatically. However, this one does get run on a daily basis automatically. Interesting. So let me try modifying README because editing the file should trigger a new updated file statistics. Rocket emoji. Okay, so we'll just give this a few minutes to update. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording, make a cup of tea, and come back and see if the cache has expired. Um, pause. I'm back with my cup of tea, and you'll see that the file size has now gone down. So it looks like this uh, this uh, task up here remove unreferenced LFS files, uh, orphan LFS file references that uh, has an impact on the repo size calculation. And then in theory, the file will actually be removed from the uh, hard drive or object storage um, at some time in the future um, with some scheduled job or it can be run immediately. So that cleanup task will happen, um, but that's good. Um, looks like the cache expires after like a couple of minutes. Um, but that's all it took for us to reduce the file size. I guess a big problem with this is that only administrators with direct access to the server can run this task. So um, there is an issue to add this to the repository cleanup job. Probably also makes sense to run this as part of housekeeping um, generally. So. Uh, We'll be looking into that and I think we'll also look at the cache whether we can speed that up so when you run garbage collection housekeeping um, it updates straight away um, so looks like reducing the file size of uh, LFS objects is possible um, with administrator intervention but I think it's an overcomable uh, obstacle so there you go have a great afternoon bye